Welcome everybody. Here I show you how to install and use LNLOD's calculator for Blender 3.6 LTS to streamline your LOD's calculations vertices versus minimum screen space while making LODs for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and soon hopefully 2024. It offers a quick, clean interface and simplifies the process, removing a huge part of trial and error or countless calculations outside of Blender to achieve a result compliant with the new MSFS LODs restrictions. First, let's install the add-on. Download and save your add-on from the link below in the description. Save it somewhere easy to remember. Then in Blender, head into Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and choose Install from the top right corner. Navigate to the folder containing your zipped package. Don't unzip it. Then select it and press Install Add-on. Then activate it via the checkbox on the right of the new item that should automatically appear. Once done, press Open Redmi to check how to preparate your scene for the add-on to correctly interact with the Asobo multi-exporter. I highlighted the important part of the redmi.txt. Make sure you quickly read it. Now let's open up a test scene with already set LOD collections. As you can see, I made the collections with the correct naming, and per each decreasing LOD, I have the number of vertices. Bear in mind, the add-on doesn't take into account hidden meshes, so make sure that you show everything you want in your export. The number of vertices is autonomously calculated per collection, meaning while you have all your collections active, you see the total sum of vertices but the plugin takes in account the vertices per collection as it should to make the correct calculations. Now, before proceeding, let's set up the environment for the LODs calculator and the Asobo plugin to correctly interact. Open the Asobo multi-exporter plugin interface, head into objects and select the grouped by collections checkbox. Then press reload LODs to make the Asobo exporter generate the correct structure for the plugin to input the new values into. Now we can head back to the LNLODs tab and press Calculate LOD Sizes. This will show you on screen the number of vertices of each LOD collection and the minimum required screen space for the simulator not to cut your 3D model off the scene. Remember, those data are based and interpolated on top of the official LODs chart from the MSFS 2024 documentation, which is also the standard for Xbox LODs for MSFS 2020 with the default set as high in the quality settings as suggested by the developers. You also have a clear data button to remove all the data from the add-on if you want to recalculate from scratch, and a handy use 2% margin in screen space checkbox, which allows you to have a little excess in the screen space values. Now, pressing set LOD values in a Sobo exporter transfers your calculated screen space data to the exporter add-on, taking in account, if specified, the plus 2% margin. 